Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make your own smoke machine. You're going to be able to do this with only $20 or even less than that, and this should only take you about five minutes to do. This is going to be a very short and concise video showing you step-by-step step how to do the whole process. Make sure you follow along. What's up guys, my name is Jamal from What's up guys, my name is Jamal from Flipping University. In this channel, I help people that might not have too much mechanical experience go from amateur to expert flipping cars so that they can build a life of freedom, doing whatever they want, whenever they want. And I wanna make this video for the people out there that flip cars and that just work on their own cars as well. Just because this is the type of tool that you could end up spending a lot of money on if you get a professional one that I really don't believe most people need. But at the same time, I do believe that having some type of way to be able to test vacuum leaks is a good thing to have. And if you are getting a vacuum leak, generally it could either come just with a check engine light or it could be like the car that I got here where you really don't know what is coming from. You, you basically just hear some type of hissing noise coming from the engine bay, just like this. I'm not really sure if you could hear that, but it basically just sounds like it's a broom sweeping across the street every time I'm driving it. So to see exactly where the leak is coming from, this is what the smoke machine is for. Now let's go over all the things you're going to need. First is just some type of pump. You could use something like this. I got this off of Amazon for probably like 10 bucks, or you can get some type of bike tire pump that you might already have. Then a soldering iron, I got this from Harbor Freights some Loctite super glue. It doesn't have to be this exact one, but just something that can handle some type of heat and is still going to have a strong hold. Then you're just going to use a jar, some type of glass jar, or it could even be some type of metal can that you could use, but something with a little bit of size to it. Then a drill with a drill bit on it, a pen. Doesn't have to be these exact ones again, but just a pen as well. You can use microfiber towels, or you can just use some type of cloth or socks or anything like that. And then you could use some good old baby oil. And I'm sure all you guys should have some baby oil on hand. Nah, let me stop. I'm sure most of the stuff you probably already have, but if you don't, you could still get it for a very cheap amount. First things first, we're just going to empty out this jar. And there we go, all good and empty. And now all we're gonna be doing is just making three holes. One hole is going to be in the middle just to fit the soldering iron through. And then the other two holes is gonna be big enough to fit our pens through. I'll be showing you how to fit the pens in there in a second, but we'll get to that in a bit. So first we're just going to get a drill with the drill bit that closely matches how thick the soldering iron would be. This is really the thickest one that I have, so I might just have to open it up a little bit more. And then we're just going to start drilling into the middle. Again, I could tell this isn't going to be wide enough, so I'm just going to look to open it up a little bit more. Then after that, there's usually going to be some type of screw holding in the pin at the top of the soldering iron, so I'm just going to take out the screw so that it can fit into this hole easier. And now we're just going to test to see if the soldering iron fits in there. And perfect, it does. And now I'm just going to use the super glue. Again, it doesn't have to be this exact one, but as long as it has some type of heat resistance so that when everything starts heating up, it doesn't start melting on you. And then we're just going to put it around the soldering iron and then we're just going to hold it in place. Usually with this, it would be good to have some type of super glue that not only can seal well, but also can dry pretty fast so you're not sitting here holding it down the whole day. All right, with this one, I only had to wait about 45 seconds and it's already pretty dry. And now all I'm going to do is just put it on the back of it as well, just to make it a bit of a tighter hold. So I'll just repeat the same process, putting it around the outside. All right, and now the next thing is we're going to be using the pens and we're just going to be making two holes to be able to fit the pens through. And if you can get a pen like this one, that would be great because what I like about this one is you could take it apart because no, of course, we don't need to put this whole thing in there. You could unscrew it, put that all aside. And then all we're just gonna be using is this part right here. So now all we're gonna do is just pop this top part through the other side and boom, that was it. I just popped the screwdriver through it. Now we have this clean tube right here, but of course we have to do something about this little tip at the end. So all we have to do is just break it off and here it goes, just ripped it right off the top. And now we just have to make a hole that's big enough for this to slip through. So we're just going to do it on one side first. And then the other side right after that. And boom, as you can see, we got it through. 
and it's already holding without it but we're just gonna put some glue around it to make sure it holds better and to just tighten up the seal so that there's no smoke that can get through all right i just did one side now we're just gonna follow that same process with the other side and there we go both sides are in place and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cap off we're gonna put our cloth inside we're going to put the pin back into the soldering iron along with the screw then we're going to take the baby oil and douse it all over the cloth you don't have to completely drown the whole thing out and have it all filled up with baby oil you just want to have it to where it's really dampened up with the baby oil alone this is basically going to be a catalyst to get the smoke going then we're going to put this back inside and tighten it up then after that we're just going to use the pump you only need to have one side connected, the other side can be left off. And we're just going to put it on one of the sides where the pen is connected. And it should be a nice snug fit. And then with the other holes, we're going to connect that to the other pen. And now after plugging it in, here it is. You got all the nice thick smoke in the middle. And that's it. All you have to do after that is just connect one side of the holes to whatever vacuum line you have. And then pump from the other side and you'll be able to see the smoke come out. I will say I know that the smoke looks a little bit weak on camera, but when you do connect it to something like a vacuum line, that's actually a closed system. Or if you're just indoors, you're gonna be able to see the smoke a lot better. And that's it guys, very short and simple. It doesn't really take much time. It doesn't really take much money, but this is something that's gonna be very effective for you. And just as a free gift for the people that have not been on this channel before, this channel is mainly about helping people buy and sell cars. So I just wanna give you a free checklist that's just highlighting the 10 main steps that I like to go through when I'm going to check out any car to make sure that it's gonna be a good car deal. Either if it's something to flip or if it's just something that I'm gonna keep for myself. If you want access to that, just go to the link in the description below. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted when the next video drops that's gonna be helping you guys buy and sell cars. All right, guys, till next time, peace.